All right, then having sandpapered the points of our melons, having sandpapered the points of them, very nice and right now, let's get this one here. This is a nice one, just the right size for one person. Okay, let's cut it in half. You can do it lengthways or short ways, whichever you like. But I want to see what the seeds are like. If they've got beautiful green jelly cells around the seeds, that's uh, the most flavoursome. Let's cut it lengthwise. Yes, they're a nice green colour. Look, this is the colour they should be. See that beautiful colour? Horned melons, that green jelly is beautiful. That's the right sort of colour for the best flavour. Delicious. Let's scrape it all out now with a fork. Beautiful stuff. Whoops. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful green, that's the best flavour. Wonderful. The green flavour, it's more likely to be green when the uh, skins go uh, bright orange, bright yellow and orange. Look at that. Wonderful. Of course, you can refill this shell with ice cream if you like, or anything. Cottage cheese, whatever you like. But this is going to be beautiful on ice cream. It's wonderful on ice cream. You could put it on a meringue like kiwi fruit or passion fruit. And you could have it with uh, whipped cream and sugar. Mm. Let's go and have some. Yes, so remember, you want them, if you're going to use them as a dessert fruit, you want them a nice green. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Beautiful green. Lovely jelly cells. Beautiful. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. I'm making a mess. Mm, it's starting to rain out here. Mm, it's starting to rain. Mm. Once you get a taste for them, it's lovely. Mm, nice citrusy taste. Nice tang. Mm. A lot of people on YouTube try them once and do a taste test and never touch them again. But they don't know how to get to know them. Got to have nice green jelly cells. And getting to know them with ice cream is great. Mm. See ya. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. I can't get enough. See ya. He should be here, you know. He should be here listening to the carawongs.